We have completed the most important customizing steps to start using fixed assets in one of our company codes. And now this is the time now to create the first master records. So of course now we are uh, connected to Fiori and we will start the create asset app. And well, for this first example, uh, we will create a trailer and this is just uh, a vehicle. So we will uh, select the correct class, which it's uh, in this server it's 3100. We can use the match code and just um, use the find function to um, look for the class. Actually, well, we can even select the correct company code right from here. So with this, we have the correct value for the asset class, the correct value for the company code, and well, we can just continue and click here on master data at the bottom right. And of course, the Mandatory fields are the description and also actually the cost uh, center. But right now, well, we need to enter the description for this first vehicle, which, as we were saying, is just a flatbed trailer. And with this, we can just uh, continue to the time dependent uh, tab to enter the ID of the cost center. So right now, well, this is something that we need this vehicle. Uh, for manufacturing purposes to help in in some of the processes. So we uh, enter the corresponding cost center and that's pretty much it. We don't need to complete anything else. Uh, I mean, especially because this is the how the customizing settings for this particular asset class have been set up. So we can just save it. And well, let's just wait for it, uh, the app to finish writing to the database. But what's important here is also to uh, understand that when the process finishes, uh, now we will have the, the the this message is a successful message, of course, just saying that the asset was correctly created, and we have now the uh, asset number. Uh, for this master record, so it's five uh, hundred thousand, and also important to mention, of course, this is coming from the number range that it was assigned to this asset class when we copied the number ranges, the definitions, and well, we have the asset class share among the the company codes. But yes, uh, this is a, a complete uh, new company code, so it's uh, selecting it, the CP system is selecting or is using the first lower limit value for this asset class. So with this, we can just uh, close the, the app and we're finishing the lesson thanking you all.